The audio chief has said in a latest interview that the DRDO is expecting that it will be able to deliver the AMCA for user trials between 2030 and 2033, while the Tejas Mark II will be ready for user trials between 2027 and 2028. SSS Defense has unveiled its 7.62 by 39 mm caliber P-72 rifle, that can effectively engage targets at 800 meters. The DRDO has awarded a contract to data patents for the development of a radar signal processor with an active antenna array simulator, and the project aims to deploy a multiple target system for the test and evaluation of various short-range aerial weapon systems. The VLSR SUM has received a redesigned vertical launch unit, that employs four smaller individual ducts instead of a previous single bulky duct, that will optimize exhaust flow patterns, and also decrease overall weight of the system. Hindustan Aeronautics aims to achieve certification of HTSE 1200 turboshaft engine by 2026, for future light and medium weight helicopters in the 3 to 6 ton category. A former Indian Navy Chief of Staff has expressed concern that Pakistan is planning to equip nuclear-armed Baba 3 cruise missiles on its eight Chinese hangar-class submarines. The work on the DRDO's new missile launch center in West Bengal has been abruptly halted, following protests from fishermen and local residents. Indian Army has deployed a brigade strength of 3,000 troops along with 500 Special Forces personnel in JNK. UP Expressways Industrial Development Authority has signed an agreement with a special purpose vehicle to establish a state-of-the-art defense testing infrastructure within the Lucknow node of the UP Defense Industrial Corridor. The Indian Air Force has intensified its efforts to expedite the procurement of 114 MRFA fighter jets, and it has urged the Ministry of Defence to prioritise the acceptance of necessity for the MRFA tender which has been pending since last year. The acceptance of necessity is crucial, as it grants budgetary approvals necessary to fund the programme. After acceptance of necessity is granted by the Defence Ministry, the Air Force can proceed with issuing a request for proposal to interested global aviation firms, that will provide an opportunity for these companies to reassess their offerings, and either submit more competitive bids or withdraw from the competition. It's worth noting that the previous MRCA tender was allocated $6.6 .6 billion for 126 aircraft in 2008, and given the inflation and technological advancements over the past 16 years, the projected cost for the MRFA tender is now $20 billion. Hindustan Aeronautics is in the final stages of preparing its price bid for the acquisition of 97 additional Tejas Mark 1A fighter jets. HAL is currently evaluating the request for proposal, and incorporating any modifications suggested by the Indian Air Force. HAL is expected to submit its final pricing proposal later this month, and once the price bid is submitted, the Defence Ministry will initiate contract negotiations, leading to the finalisation of the deal. The DRDO is seeking collaboration with an innovative Indian startup to develop indigenous segmented rubber tracks for armoured vehicles. The DRDO has equipped the first prototype of the Jorah Warlight tank with a rubber track system reportedly from Canada-based Susi Defence, as rubber track system offers undeniable strength and durability, reduce overall weight of the vehicle by 50%, generate 70% lesser noise and vibration during operation, reduces fuel consumption by 35%, results in 80% less maintenance, blast resistant up to Stenag level 3, and also offers better maneuverability and higher speeds. Today's top 3 comments. Oh, Mark, dropped it.